So I have worked in Inglot for over a year and obviously within that time I got to know all the good products, all the customer favorites and also all the bad products that customers would test and they would go for a walk but never come back. Don't know where they went. <laughs> so, hi everyone, my name is Emma and today let's talk about six best and worst Inglot makeup products. So Inglot was actually first place that I went to straight away after I got my makeup diploma just because they give you 20% discount, at least in my country. I don't know about yours, you have to make sure about it. But I live in Lithuania and what they do is that you just take your diploma, you go to the store and you get a 20% discount card for all the makeup in the store, which is absolutely great. That was, that, that's why it was my first choice. Basically, it was good makeup, cheaper. And I just fell in love with their makeup. It's really good, but obviously, as you can tell by the title of this video, it has its own flops. So without further ado, let's just head into that list that I made. And I'm going to name them like one of the best ones and one of the worst ones. And obviously, I have most of the best products over here and I can show it to you how it works but I don't really have any worst ones I have only one and you'll see it you'll see what I mean <laughs> okay let's go I even made a list so that I wouldn't forget anything okay so let's start with first product and this would be eyeshadow keeper if you ever watched any of my videos this, like all of them literally starts with okay so now I'm taking Inglot eyeshadow keeper I just trust it so much basically it never let me down it always keeps my eyeshadows in place especially when I have such oily lids and I was always struggling you know because my eyeshadows just straight away goes into creases but when I found this my life literally changed it's really lightweight, you barely feel it on your lids. And it doesn't really have any coverage, it's practically transparent. And the first worst product would be... <laughs> actually, their makeup bases. <laughs> like, I didn't enjoy any of them, but one of them was actually going really well, this one. And this basically was bought by people themselves and by makeup artists to use on their customers. And people really enjoy it, actually. But I didn't really like it, like, any of them, because they're very slippery. And I always felt like if I apply it, it does the opposite than it actually should to my makeup. Like my makeup just kind of slides off and it didn't, like it never looked good on me or neither of any of my customers ever. Like you need to like put the smallest amount of it, but then it doesn't really do anything, you know? It's just, it's just a weird product. Like I never enjoyed it. It's very silicone-y. It's like all of them are silicone based. Um, just not my favorite. And the other two, these ones, the mattifying one and the SPF one, were actually like we never sold them ever. <laughs> Unless we would like totally trick the person. <laughs> Second best product would be their eyebrow pomades. And oh, I love their eyebrow pomades. One of the best pomades I've ever tried. They just are like super smooth, they don't dry out, they create that perfect Instagram brow effect that I love personally because I don't have any brows this is all painted I'm faking it <laughs> truly faking it and that product let me fake it to the point of like impossible once it actually showed up in our store all the popular shades were constantly sold out like people would come in and they would be like oh my friend recommended this or my makeup artist recommended me this product like it was a constant flow of people like interested only in that brow pomade and i didn't buy this product again just because i knew that if i will have it i will reach for only that eyebrow pomade and i will just forget about everything else that i have <laughs> and i just kind of wanted to give chance to you know different brands maybe find some other gems you know <laughs> and the second worst one would be their foundations like i don't say that they're completely bad and no one is enjoying them i actually know quite a lot of people who like their foundations but considering price tag and considering what they do their quality like i think that there are so many better options like in any drugstore you can go there and you can find so many better options there's one particular Inglot foundation that I have in my mind that I absolutely hate. It's HD foundation. Like, I don't understand this product. It's matte, but it has shimmers, like quite a lot of shimmers. It makes you shiny, but then it makes your skin oily so quickly. Like, at least for me, like I was shining bright as a star, not in a good way. <laughs> and then it just feels so 
heavy on your face and it dries quickly but then it's still oily like i i never understood that product and the price of it is absolutely insane like i would literally get myself three bottles of l'oreal infallible which works way better <laughs> for anyone oh and i nearly forgot to mention that it oxidizes as Toasty. it literally becomes two shades darker so back to the good part, third one would be their eyeshadows. And I'm in love with this system, this so-called freedom system. Basically what they do is that they create magnetic palettes, they sell them separately and then they sell all the eyeshadows as refills also separately. Oh, I struggle to take it out. But yeah, all of these are just metals and you get stuck to the palette and basically you have freedom to create whatever you want. Their eyeshadows are really pigmented. They nearly have no fallouts. Mostly people are coming to Ingla to buy their eyeshadows, not something else. Like their eyeshadows was the first thing that got them so insanely popular throughout the whole world because they offer so many colors and they offer this huge freedom system, you know. These eyeshadows are a bit to the drier side, but it only helps them to stay in the pan. Because sometimes, you know, when you buy eyeshadows and you finish the pan instantly, like it seems it just vanished somewhere. Well, these are not the case. Like you have to actually work. I use this eyeshadow for over a year, every day, not only on myself, but on clients as well. And <laughs> I didn't even finish it yet. This is insane. <laughs> Third worst one would be their makeup sponges. And actually, Inglot makeup sponge and original beauty blender are so close price-wise. Yet, quality, I would say this would be AliExpress and this would be Sephora or Beauty Bay. So, you know, you get me, right? To be completely honest with you, I was never a really good employee. <laughs> Just because if I like the person, if I like the customer, I'm going to tell them straight away what I think about that sponge. I was like, you know what, I can show it to you, I can wet it, you know, and I'm just going to show you what sound it makes and it's just like... Every time, even if you touch it lightly to your face, like it makes that dabbing noise, I don't even know how to recreate, like... It just, it was disgusting. I, it, was, it was the worst thing to do makeup on someone using that sponge, like. <laughs> Fourth one is my absolute favorite. It's called Duraline. I even have a video about it, 10 ways you can use Duraline. And it, <laughs> it saved my life so many times. You can use it everywhere. You can mix it with your gel liners if they're dry. You can mix it with your pomades to refreshen them. You can mix it with any eyeshadow or loose pigment to make a waterproof liner. I really suggest you to watch my video about Duraline as well because there's a lot of great uses to this product. The fourth worst one are their mascaras. Like none of their mascaras are good. I don't know what's wrong with them, but they never did anything to my eyelashes and people just don't buy them, they just don't like it and I don't know, there were quite a few mascaras returned as well just because people were like, oh my god, I paid money for this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here comes fifth one, it's not that much left, right? If you're enjoying this video so far, give it a thumbs up! Alright, so fifth one would be gel eyeliners. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I heard so many YouTubers talking about this one, it's just, it's just something. But there's one thing about this gel eyeliner once you buy it there's going to be enough of it for your entire life oh my god i will i will never finish it there is just so much product in it and if it ever dries out you can just put a little bit of duraline in it and then boom you have a completely fresh gel eyeliner it's super pigmented waterproof smudge proof easy to work with stays on for a long time what else would you need in an eyeliner and the fifth worst one would be their falsies, just because they're so overpriced. Like, I just bought this from AliExpress for like two bucks or something like that. And there, in Inglot, you would buy like this one pair for 10 bucks. This is how insane it is. And the quality, I like the quality better from AliExpress, if I'm completely honest with you. Like, I'm wearing these today, and just look at that, they look beautiful. So yeah, AliExpress wins in this case. And if you ever decide to buy falsies from Inglot, just let me know in the comments below. I'm going to try to help you to find dupe from AliExpress so that you would save your money. And the last favorites of mine are Inglot Loose Pigments. They are something. They have so many colors. They have duochrome, they have like 
all kinds of shimmers and it's just insane when you go there when you see everything it just kind of hypnotizes you and you just want to take all of the all of them home like you want to take the whole shelf and just shower yourself in the glitter <laughs> i used one of my loose pigments today as my highlighter and it just looks absolutely insane like it reflects everything you can use it as a mirror if you want to <laughs> and now the last worst product that i actually own it would be matte HD lip tint. So if you know makeup, you know that HD in makeup means that it will have shimmer, reflecting details in itself. And matte, it should be matte, right? Matte, matte is just matte, right? But this, this is matte HD, matte with shimmers, because why not? <laughs> this is one of the weirdest products ever, just like that foundation, like the matte hd one this is the same it literally looks weird on your lips it looks super dry but then it has chunks of shimmer it's weird today i actually tried it after a long long while and i remember now why i didn't like this product at all so at first everything seems fine applicator is really nice smell is lovely color is quite pigmented i've seen more pigmented ones but obviously it's it's not the problem here but when it dries, that's when all the fun starts. Keep in mind that I filmed everything when I just applied this lipstick. So let's start with the first thing. It shimmers quite a lot. When it dries, even more. Then your lips are actually sticking together. And while I was sticking them together, I actually managed to remove the lipstick from my lips. And then, no more than five minutes with this lipstick, I just brushed everything off. This lipstick literally crumbled off my lips. <laughs> How amazing is that? I don't know what to say about this lipstick. <laughs> Next! I'm so going to check this away now. <laughs> okay, so that's all the products. Fight me in the comments down below if I mention some of your favorites as my worst ones or the opposite way around. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe buttons because I am uploading videos every week. So join my family for good karma points. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, bye!